Salam hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about the DJI Tello. This is a sub $100 drone that not only is it easy to set up, has a great camera, altitude control, but just downright a lot of fun to have. I wanna say thank you very much to Verizon for allowing me to check out the DJI Tello, but let's not waste any time. Let's do a quick unboxing and get outside and play. This is the DJI Tello drone. Uh, it's actually pre-assembled, nothing really much other than putting in the battery. We have prop guards, four props already installed, of course, Tello right across. Tello, field of fun, powered by DJI with Intel inside. Switching over to the back of the box, uh, here are some of the main features of this. 13 minute max flag time, and I can attest to that, about 12 to 13 minutes. Altitude control, a five megapixel sensor in the front that has really good pictures, an electronic image stabilization for steady shots, and that's definitely when you're flying, a 720p HD transmission to your device, so you're getting clear picture on your device whenever you're trying to capture pictures or video. We have multiple flight angle modes, so those are the different modes we'll test out. Easy operation by either using it on Android or on iOS, and I'll explain to you some of the issues I've had between the two ecosystem. And then basically programmable with Tello SDK if you decide that you want to basically upgrade to that. Now, there is a few accessories that they do recommend or you cannot get. You can get different snap-on covers for the top, as well as a joystick, a remote Bluetooth connection to the actual drone so you don't have to use your phone, and a battery charging hub. You can check out some more information there. Now that we have everything out, we have the drone, we have some replaceable prop guards as well as the tool to be able to unhook these existing one and then replace them in case you get them damaged. But as I mentioned to you guys, uh, the actual prop guard are already on so you can definitely fly it with that. And of course they include the battery that we need to charge. And it only charges through the actual drone so you just insert it. Well, I think if you put it in correctly it would be nice. So insert it, hear that little kind of a click and it sits in tightly and you're pretty much set. Uh, looking around the drone, as I mentioned to you guys, the prop guards are installed. You can remove them if you want to. I just left them on mostly because I didn't want to lose them. Um, on the left side of the drone, you have a micro USB charging port. There is a micro USB cable in the box. And that's basically how we're going to be charging the drone as well as interfacing with it. On the front, we have that 5 megapixel sensor with an LED uh, indicator as far as power, charging or recording. On the left side, there's not much other than the power, si power button, or this case would be the right side, power button to turn on the drone. Um, on the bottom we have the, some of these sensors as well as a vent for dissipating heat and this is basically where we have the altitude control. Uh, and of course, other than that, it's pretty simple. It's actually pretty small from the sense of what you have. And the reason why I'm showing it to you guys on my hand is uh, we're going to be able to take off and land on the hand and I'll share that with you guys outside. Connecting and using the Tello is pretty simple. Using the power button, we'll go ahead and put, hold it on and turn on the light. You'll see there's a green LED light blinking right now. And once you see it right there, Tello, you just click on it. There's no password, it's an open network. You can go home and then launch the Tello application. I'll go back here. The camera itself is very nice. So I'm gonna put the phone right here. And uh, yeah, it, it has a tilt warning. So let's go ahead and just switch over to the camera itself. I'll show you guys so you guys can talk. Uh, so this is just me using the camera just to show you the quality of it. Again, right now it's in picture mode. And if I switch over to video mode, it fills up the screen. Here's picture mode and here's video mode. So you'll notice right there, the picture actually transmits really nice, 720p. I am testing it right now with the iPhone 8 Plus. The controls are very simple. We have uh, basically the standard joystick controls on the right and left. You have the ability of initiating video or uh, pictures. So you have to switch between the two and whatever icons in the middle is what you have. Uh, of course, if I click here, the joystick moves here. If I click here, the joystick will move here. Uh, automatic takeoff and landing is pretty simple. It's a one button option. It does have a, uh, a basically a bearing indicator. So if the Trello, sorry, the Tello is not flat, it will not take off. As well as it also has a heat indicator. If it's too hot, the drone will land as it gets, it actually it will overheat. Uh, some of the modes that we have, we have circle mode, up and away, which just gives us the ability to basically just let it kind of do a pan shot. And I'll show that to you guys. Uh, AD flips because we're able to go not only back, forward, right and left, it's also diagonal. The other way we also have to do is a 360 spin as well as the bounce and throw and go, which is really fun. Uh, the throw go is very, very basic, very nice. Uh, it says the battery is low. You hold it in your hand and you let it go and then you're also able to have it land back. We have a battery indicator, a wireless indicator, as well as Bluetooth, as if you're able to connect a Bluetooth connector. So the first thing we're going to do, obviously, I connected it to my iPhone and uh, we're going to basically do the throw and go kind of thing. Uh, and what essentially it means, it's actually to turn on, you can turn it on, throw it away, and it'll actually fly by itself. No control, altitude control, right there. And um, it actually just flies by itself. Uh, the other mode I want to share with you guys is, I try to call it bounce mode. And for all intents and purposes, it does that. It doesn't do anything else. 
uh, and I'm not sure what it's for. But it does have a really cool surge feature where you can turn around, go up a little bit, and snap a picture, and it'll save it directly into the, uh, the actual drone, so you do need to transfer that over. Uh, other than that, I can switch over to video mode, and the camera on the actual app will switch. Uh, we'll do a couple more, a uh, little bit of tricks here. So I'm going to do that into the 360, but I'm going to take it a little bit higher. And what it does there is just does a 360 spin, and it does actually record video when it's doing that. Uh, the next mode we're going to do is uh, basically 8D flips. Go ahead and start a video. We'll do a flip. And we'll do a side flip, and it'll work very cool. So, so they want you to position it a little bit this far, and uh, this one's actually pretty cool. It's called the up and away, and I'm recording the video, so I hope you guys can enjoy seeing this. It's just going to do a pan shot backwards, just goes up and down, and then it just stands there at that position. So the last thing I'm going to show you guys real quick is that 360 uh, loop circle around me. Basically, it's going to go around me and do a circle, and just keep focus on me as the center of the subject. Now what I really like about it is that it actually will do a video of the entire process. So you notice right there, I'm not having to actually do anything on the controller. It just does it by itself. This thing is going to be really nice because you can still fly it as a regular drone. The only thing is the range and as far as the ability to play longer than 13 minutes, which is what the battery is rated at. So you can fly straight forward, up. And then, when you're done, you can actually have it land on the ground or in your hands. This is definitely going to be one of the best drones you can play with, under $100. Uh, we're getting DJI quality as far as the picture, the hardware, the tricks and everything that this drone can do. Again, really, really good. And you guys saw it. It does a really good job in good light. Um, if the light kind of dips or becomes a little bit of a low light, just keep in mind, it's only a 5 megapixel sensor. Uh, as far as the issues that I've had with it, no issues with the hardware, no issues as far as how to fly things. Uh, my only concerns that I've had were a couple of things. A, uh, Android for some reason has a little bit of an issue, or at least on the S9 or on the Samsung devices, uh, a little bit of an issue on video as well as uh, basically showing a live feed to the actual device. So I couldn't see that on my Android device. Switching over to the iPhone, of course, everything worked out. Uh, the other thing you want to keep in mind, it's not an issue with it, but it's more of a recommendation. Um, you are limited to about 13 minutes flight time. Uh, the drone will not fly if it's not on a flat surface. It will give you a tilt warning. The also is a wish you with heat. If you're outside like where I am in Southern California with 107 uh, temperatures, uh, you're going to be getting warnings of heat issues. So as it overheats, it will shut down so it will land and shut off itself after about a couple of minutes. So there's an issue with ventilation in this system. There is really no fans, so everything is basically air cooled. If it's too hot outside, keep that in mind. But other than that, just have fun with it. Again, thank you to Verizon for allowing me to check out the drones. And yes, Verizon does have drones. This is not the first one I've reviewed for them. Uh, check out the link in the description below. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, of course. Like and subscribe, and thank you for the support. I'll see you guys in the next video.